In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the solutions to quiz number four. For problem number one, we're asked to solve the following differential equation. Because this is a separable differential equation, and each of the sides is respectively where they need to be, we can just essentially integrate this. Noticing on the left side here, this integral is going to be an integration by parts. And then on the right hand side, we're going to have two pieces. The first piece, the y part, we can just integrate regularly, and the second part will be a u sub. Alright, let's do the integration by parts. For the integration by parts, we'll take u to be equal to ln of x, we'll take du to be equal to 1 over x dx, we'll have dv equal to x, and that means that v is going to be x squared divided by 2. Alright, this part here, together, remember that we use this for our integration by parts formula. To remind you, we have uv minus the integral of v du. Plugging these in, we get x squared divided by 2 times the natural log of x minus the integral of x squared divided by 2 times x, uh, times 1 over x. That'll cancel out one of the powers and we get the following answer. So we get 1 half x squared ln of x minus a fourth x squared. Alright, that's the first part of the integration we need to do. Uh, for the second part, let me focus on the u sub part of the integral involving y. So here we'll have y times the square root of 3 plus y squared dy. We'll use the u sub. u is equal to 3 plus y squared. That means that du is 2y dy. And now our integral becomes 1 half the integral of the square root of u du. When we integrate, we will get u to the 3 halves, and then we'll have times 2 thirds. That'll cancel one of the 2's in the 1 half. And then our answer here is going to be 1 third times the quantity uh, 3 plus y squared all raised to the 3 halves power. So putting this together along with the integral for y, then we have our general solution. So our general solution says that 1 half x squared times the natural log of x minus 1 fourth x squared is equal to, and then here I'll put in our, our u sub, 1 third times the quantity 3 plus y squared raised to the 3 halves, then we na now add in the y part. The y part is going to be plus y squared divided by 2, and we add our constant. So this is the general solution to our differential equation, but we are not done yet because we have an initial value. So the initial value for this problem is y of 1 is equal to 1. Now this will allow us to solve for c. This means that if we plug in uh, the value 1 for x and the value 1 for y, we get the following relationship. 1 half times 1 squared times the natural log of 1 minus 1 fourth times 1 squared is equal to 1 half times 3 plus 1 squared raised to the 3 halves power plus 1 squared divided by 2 plus c. The first term cancels out because the natural log of 1 is 0. And so we get minus 1 fourth is equal to, uh, we'll get 8 divided by 3, and then plus 1 divided by 2, and plus c. So if we move everything over, we find that c is going to be equal to minus 41 divided by 12. Now we plug this into our general solution to produce the particular solution. So the particular solution for this problem is going to be 1 half x squared times the natural log of x minus 1 fourth times x squared is equal to 1 third times the quantity 3 plus y squared raised to the 3 halves power plus y squared divided by 2 and then minus 41 divided by 12. All right, this wraps up the first problem. So this is the solution that we're looking for. Make sure that you solve for the constant whenever you have an initial value.
All right, let's take a look at the second problem. For, so for the second problem, we have the following setup. We have an initial volume of 100 liters in our tank. We have a rate of flow in uh, and a concentration in given by this here. And then we have a rate of flow out given by this four liters per minute out. Okay, so for the first part of this problem, let's just focus on the setup. So for the setup, we're gonna wanna try to figure out, one, what our variables should be. So we'll, level, we'll label y the uh, amount of uh, the amount of chemical in the tank. And then we'll also wanna set up a differential equation that'll tell us what is going on with this problem. So, so dy by dt, in general, it's always equal to the rate in minus the rate out and now we need to figure out what these what these quantities are. So dy by dt, the, the rate in, is going to be this 0 0.4 times 5 liters. And then we can just calculate what that is. And then we have to subtract. Here, this is going to be dependent on the volume. So we'll have the volume. Um, uh, but we'll have to take into account uh, the concentration. So we have y divided by the volume times the rate out. So this whole uh, quantity here, it, it, it's changing because it depends on t. Notice that the volume is given by 100 plus t. So putting this all together, our differential equation tells us that dy by dt is equal to 2 minus 4y divided by 100 plus t. And now we can try to take a look at how to solve this equation. In trying to solve this, we should remember that there are only two types of equations that we know how to solve. Linear equations and separable equations. So this equation here, we have to notice right off the bat that if we rewrite it, then it looks like a linear differential equation. So we have y prime plus 4 divided by 100 plus t times y is equal to 2. When dealing with a linear differential equation like this, we have to remember that our first step should be to try to find the integrating factor. And the integrating factor is the integral of, it's e to the integral of p of t dt, where p of t is the function in front of y. In this case, we'll have that p of t is 4 divided by 100 plus t. So if we integrate this, we'll get 4 times the natural log of 100 plus t. That means that if we plug this in to our integrating factor formula, we have e to the 4 times the natural log of 100 plus t. And we can rewrite this moving the 4 to the inside of the natural log. In doing so, the 4 is going to become the exponent on whatever is on the inside. So this is equal to 100 plus t all raised to the 4th, owing to the fact that e to the natural log of something uh, just gives whatever was inside the natural log. Therefore, we see that using our integrating factor method, 100 plus t raised to the fourth times y is equal to the integral of the other side times the integrating factor. So the integral of 2 times 100 plus t raised to the fourth power. Here we'll use a u substitution, and we won't actually try to multiply everything out. That would take a little bit too long. So our answer becomes 2 times 100 uh, plus t raised to the fifth divided by 5. And then we add our constant. Now notice that we can write out what the general solution is here. The general solution is going to be 2 fifths times 100 plus t raised to the fifth plus a constant divided by 100 plus t to the fourth. If we forget the constant, then we'll mess up this last part of the function. Okay, now we use our initial condition. So when t is equal to zero, we have pure water in the tank. So y is gonna be equal to zero. And that means that zero will be equal to 2 fifths times 100 to the, five, uh, to the power five plus c divided by 100 raised to the power four. So if we move things around, we'll see that c is going to be negative. And in fact, c is going to be negative 
2 divided by 5, and then we'll have powers of 100 cancel out, so we'll have uh, just times 100 here. We multiply the 100 in, and we'll get minus 200 divided by 5. So now we divide uh, 200 by 5, and we'll get minus 40 for our constant c. So y is going to be equal to 2 fifths times 100 plus t raised to the fifth, plus our constant c, which we just found out what it was. Uh, it's negative 40 divided by 100 plus t raised to the fourth. All right, that concludes this type of a problem. If you're asked to do these in the future, make sure that you pay attention to all of the different pieces.